Hello everyone. First of all, let me give you my introduction. My name is Amit Kumar Agarwal and I have done my CCIA in Routing Switching Service Provider and Data Center domain. My total experience is more than 12 plus years. So here in this video, we are going to discuss about the interface policies, right? This is a very important topic. If you are going uh, to do a greenfield implementation or if you are a part of ACI operations, so you should know what is this interface policies. So interface policies uh, allow you to define policies that will later on be clubbed as group and applied to interface. It is very similar to port profiles on the Nexus switches. But uh, in my terms, I can say these are the reusable objects, right? So first of all, you should know what type of requirement provided by the server team for the connectivity like what type of speed they need they need 10 gig 40 gig or they need CDP details or not LLDP or not they require port channel in port channel they require the LACP active passive or on what type of port security they need right so once you gather all these information from the server team in the initial phase of the deployment then what you can do you can create these reusable objects with a generic name let's suppose uh, I have created a link label policy and it's a very generic policy and I have uh, assigned um, a name let's suppose uh, name is ACCP underscore 10 gig underscore CDP on let's suppose this is the name of the policy so what all devices let's suppose need this same link speed can utilize this policy so every time when you are going to configure any new device in your environment you no need to create a new interface policy right you can leverage the policy which is already present but there is a drawback or there is a i cannot say the drawback but there is a problem in this Let's suppose if a policy is applied to 10 different places. Let's take an example. Let's suppose we have a policy name ACCP 10 gig CDP on. Right? So I have created this policy. Right? And this policy I have few servers. 1, 2, three four so all these four servers are using this policy let's suppose same policy this is a link label policy okay so now oh okay so now the problem here is let's suppose you get a request to decommission this particular device in that case you cannot remove this complete policy where you have you already called link label policy you called cdp policy right so this is called interface policy group inside the interface policy group you can leverage the existing interface policy but this is again dangerous in terms of troubleshooting right so uh, the problem here is if you are going to decommission a server then be make sure that you not gonna delete the complete policy group because if you delete the complete policy group and if that policy group is already applied to n number of servers the communication will stop to those servers so the solution of this problem is to create uh, a different uh, what I can say a different policy group for each server but in that case again that is not reusable so if you want to create a reusable object and if you want to use the existing interface policies which you have already created inside the interface policy group then in that case always remember that do not delete the interface policy group or 
the interface policies which are part of interface policy group in any case right so again I can tell you from where you can configure these interface policy you have to go to fabric access policy interface policies and then policies there you can find these all options link level policy CDP policy LLDP policy port channel policy and port security policies so this is a one-time uh, work you can do it through scripting and civil scripting as well and once it's these policies are there in place every time when you are going to create a new interface policy group you can leverage this already existing policies I hope this video is informative for you thank you so much for watching